Hey, once again, I have a question here from Chris. It's titled Laptop Boot Up Issues. Every morning I boot up my laptop, which is a Toshiba satellite with Windows 8.1. It will shut down just before the login screen appears. I will then have to boot my laptop again and then all works fine. Okay, Chris. Um, after reading your mail, I got thinking about the problem. And you had mentioned too that uh, the error logs didn't contain any useful information. And I'm thinking it might be a function inside Windows 8 that's messing with you. Let me go to my Windows 8 machine and I'll show you something that you can try. Okay, so I'm at my start screen here and we're just gonna click and then type in power. And then from the power search, I'm gonna choose settings here. And then under the power settings, we're gonna click this one, change what the power buttons do here. Okay, the setting that we're looking for right now is the shutdown settings. And you can see it says, turn on fast startup, which is recommended. And this button will allow your machine to start up faster. And the way this works is this is a hybrid technique that Microsoft developed that actually affects the shutdown. And normally the way a shutdown would work is a user session is closed, then the kernel shut down, then of course the hardware shut down after that. With this turned on, what happens is the user session is closed as normal, but the kernel session is actually put into a state of hibernation and then the hardware shut down. And then when you turn the computer back on, you know, it doesn't take so long to boot because the, uh, the kernel is already in a hibernated state and it just brings it back. But this might be messing with you and I've read reports of other people having problem with it. So the first thing I would try is to go ahead and uncheck this. Now you can't do that until you click this button up here. You have to click this change settings that are currently unavailable. And then once you click that, then you can go ahead and turn that off and then hit this save changes button. Now you might experience longer boot up times, but uh, if it fixes your problem, then it's not that big a deal. You know, ultimately, you might be able to turn that back on by messing with some settings in your BIOS of your Toshiba, but uh, I don't think you have to go that far. Just go ahead and click that and see if it helps you out. All right, Chris, well, I hope that helps you out. Go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what happens. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.